In this video, we show you how you can import, change or delete a lot of personal data in just a few steps by using the continuous import of employee records in Matrix 1. The continuous import of employee records is an interface that can be used to process data from a CSV file. The CSV file must be provided by an external system. Make sure that the encoding of the CSV import file corresponds to the Unicode UTF-8 standard and that a semicolon is set as the field separator. In our example, the attribute command field is listed in the first column. You need this attribute to specify how the data record is to be processed. Persons who are to be added must be marked with an I for insert. Persons whose data are to be changed must be marked with a U for update. Persons who are to be deleted must be marked with a D for delete. Log in to Matrix 1 as a system configurator. Then navigate to System Administration Interfaces. Create a new interface and select Person Import Interface for Continuous Import of Employee Records. Name your new import interface. Specify in which column of your CSV file the attribute command field is located. In our example, it is in the first column. In addition, you must specify all other attributes in matrix 1 in exactly the same order as they are listed in the CSV file. Finally, specify the CSV file with its correct path. To ensure that only the relevant data is loaded into matrix 1 for processing, you must skip the table header. Check the size of the table header in your CSV file. Then set the number of rows above the first data entry in Skip Header Row. Click Save. Check your settings by clicking on Test. This generates a preview from the CSV file. You can now check whether the data is interpreted correctly. Please note that only the first 10 lines are displayed in the preview. If the data is displayed correctly in the preview, it can be imported into Matrix 1 using the Activate button. Check whether Matrix 1 has already processed the CSV file. After successful processing, Matrix 1 moves the CSV file. Navigate to Access, Person Administration, Persons. You see that the records have been imported, deleted or updated according to your CSV file. You have now successfully changed, deleted and imported several personal data simultaneously.